Hello, Sunny fam, Coach James here. Thank you for joining me today for our Zone 2 body weight workout. We'll call this routine Pace and Grace because we will be moving with grace today while paying attention to our tempo. So for our Zone 2 workout, we'll use the talk test method to determine our intensity. Throughout this entire workout, you should be able to maintain a conversation. So you shouldn't ever be at a <gasps> huffing and puffing. None of that, not today. Okay, today is just about getting moving, building a nice cardio base, and moving with some joint-friendly exercises. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, let's get into it. All right, Sunny fam, Coach James here. We are about to get into our zone to workout. We're gonna start here with the warm up. Let's throw them arms in a circle here. We'll go 30 seconds. This is gonna be a fun one here today. We're gonna get the body right, mind right here with the warm up. So remember, for today's workout, you should be able to hold a conversation the entire time. So sing to yourself, right? You can, I may ask you some questions, tell some jokes, you can talk back at me. You know, we're gonna go here for another eight seconds. Let's switch the arms here. Grab water. If you don't have it, you can always stop and grab water if you need to. Dry yourself off with a towel if you need to. Hit pause if you have to. And now from here, we're gonna go into a dynamic hamstring stretch. So, one leg forward. Run the hands down the back of that leg, and then boom, and then up again, and then back down. Keeping that leg straight as possible. We wanna feel a stretch here. If you feel this in the lower back, you may be going a little bit too low. And we're gonna switch sides here, opposite leg forward. Run the hands down. So, going into this workout. Okay, I want us to go into this workout with the mindset that we will move at a comfortable pace. So, don't feel the need to do too much. And being mindful, being intentional. So we're not gonna allow our mind to just wander out in space. We're gonna be in present in the moment and done for each exercise here. We're gonna go high knees with our last warm up here. So the beauty of body weight exercises, right, is we have seven different moves, right? So. We're gonna switch between those seven different moves pretty quickly. We're gonna do 20 seconds work with a 10 second march in between. So you have to be mindful and present because there gonna be some different unique moves that you can possibly bang out on a dance floor, right? And they'll be creative and done. Now while I demo the moves here, I want you to keep that march going here for me. So first move we're gonna do here is a heel curl two times, right? So you go one, two. One, two, once again, go-to dance move right there. Then we go jab, cross. We go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Soft landing on those. Then from there, we go multi-directional punch outs with a lateral step out. You can get wild and creative with this one with your hands. From there, we go into a ladder climb. Right arm, left leg up. Left arm, right leg up. Boom, just like that. From there, we go into under the thigh clap. If you can't get under the thigh, you can tap the thigh. Then we go three point shot for my basketball fans and finish off with a punching bag. It's a good time. Starting off, here we go. We're gonna start off with the heel curls now. So it's gonna be one, two, switch up. One, two, 20 seconds. Each move, 10 second. Transition for that transition, we're still moving, we're gonna go into a march. And we take it into that first transition here. So we can march, you can play around with your march. You can march side to side, you can march in place. Keep it moving though, okay? Throughout the entire workout, we're gonna keep moving here for the zone two. Now from here, we go into the jabs. So it's gonna be one, two, three, four. Tight stomach here, tight stomach, four knee taps. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Let's get some shoulder rotation on those punches. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And done there. Here we go. Take it into the march. From here, the next move, remember, you're going to multi -direct directional punch out. Get ready and go now. So you can punch forward, punch out to the side, punch up, punch down, punch one direction. Shout out to Harry Styles. Here we go. We keep it moving. 
10 seconds here. Try to get creative here. I feel like I'm a cheerleader right now. Going for another three, two, one, and done. Nice, back to the march, back to the march. Now from here, we take it into the ladder climbs. Remember for the ladder climbs, it's gonna be right arm, left leg. Boom, left arm, right leg. And we're climbing. So remember, play around with your pace here. Check in with your breath. Are you breathing heavy? If you were to talk, would you talk in a choppy manner? If so, slow it down. You can slow it down. And now from here, we go back into the march. Okay, now, next move, we go into that thigh clap. Remember, you have an option here. Either you go under the thigh or you tap the thigh. Let's go, we're going. Tight stomach again. You can touch those hands at the top. Exhale. Each time you draw that knee up for me, we're gonna go here for another six, five, four, three, two, one, and done. Nice, march for me. From here, we get to take it into the three-point shot. NBA All-Star Weekend's coming up very soon. Ready, and let's go. Grab the ball, shoot the ball. Grab it, shoot it, grab it, shoot it. Follow through on the shot. Remember, you should be able to hold a full conversation here. Every time you shoot, you can just say Kobe. Kobe, 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 there we go. We're marching here again, we're marching. Shout out to Kobe Bryant, one of my favorite, probably my favorite athlete. They just unveiled his statue the other day. A tear came to my eye. We're gonna go into punching backs here. Hands above the head. Now you can keep the feet stationary or you can move those feet. Once again, you can choose your intensity here based on how you feel during the routine. Soft landing with the feet, hands above your head. I do not want you to hit yourself in the face. Two, one, we take it back into the march. Now that was one round. We're gonna go back into that. We're gonna do that six times today. Six times. We're gonna go back into that heel curl. You ready? I'm ready, here we go. Double time. Two. Gripping and ripping. We put that foot down, we're lightly tapping, coming up with control, putting it back down with control, and done. We're marching, marching. You can get those knees high, you can lower the knees, whatever feels right for you. We have another three seconds here, then we take it into the punches. Here we go, it's gonna be one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Ha, 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 ha. So punch, throw the punches. Me run away. Throw the punches, run away. It's like me fighting my older brother when I was a kid. One, two, three, four. And done there. Now we march, we march. After this, we have that multi-directional punch out. Remember we go here, foot steps out side to side each time. What is it, Y, N, C, I'm not sure how to do it, but here we go. We're moving. We go for a three, two, one, and done. March for me, march for me. How you feeling? You feeling good? I'm feeling good. If you need to grab water at any point in time, feel free to grab it, then pop right back in. Here we go with the ladder climbs. Right arm, left leg. Get high, reach up as high as we can. Tight stomach here. A little bit of ab work, a little bit of coordination. Seven, six, five, Four, three, one, and go. Let's march it out again. March it out. Breath is under control. Hey, you can even do this while singing your favorite song. Okay, we're gonna go under the thigh clap. Make it even more fun, right? Sing your favorite song throughout the rest of this circuit. Whatever that is for you. 10 seconds here. I only know like two songs by heart. Three, two, one, and done. Here we are, March. You barely have to remember anything nowadays. I know like two songs, like three phone numbers, four phone numbers, actually. We go three point shot. Here we go. Grab the ball, shoot it. I know my number, barely sometimes. I'm like, is it an eight? Does the eight come before the two or the two before the eight? I know my parents' number. 
And then I know my old roommate's number because I use it for a Ralph's discount. There's only four numbers I know by heart. Three, two, one, and done. Here we go. We're March. Gotta get that discount. He doesn't even shop at Ralph's anymore. I'm the one that's using it now. We go two, one, and now we go punch your backs. Here we go. Hands above the head. Soft land. Soft land. Here we go. 10 seconds, 10 seconds. Channeling our inner boxer right here. Punches of positivity. We go for another four, three, two, one. We're marching. We're marching. Now, during those, during these marches, if you prefer the, the cardio moves we're doing instead, you can just continue to do that until the next exercise. Okay, we're gonna go heel curl. So if you really like this one, instead of going for 20 seconds and then going to that 10 second march, you can do a 30 second heel curl, then just pop right into the jab cross if you prefer. Okay, don't let me box you in, I want you to be creative. All right, and here we go. I like marching though. This is how I, this is how I get my steps in at the end of the night when it's cold outside, when it's chilly. And here we go, jabs, here we go. One, two, three, four, knee tap. One, two, three, four, back at it. One, two, three, four. 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 Give me another five seconds here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Here we go, marching, marching. After this, we take it into our ladder climbs. Get ready, get ready, get ready. And we're on the ladder. Opposing limbs. Left arm goes up the right leg. If you have a hard time with this, sometimes people struggle with this one. Be kind to yourself. Have some fun, laugh it off, right? Exercise doesn't need to be so serious. This is the guy wearing pineapple socks, you know? This is me. Why so serious? We're marching. Remember when we were kids, we, when we fell, we laughed. Right, we exercise, we're games and we're playing. We're playing right now, that's what we're doing. Now from here, under the thigh, clap. All right, if you wanna play, if you live alone, make a loud clap, thunder clap. Six seconds, for the last six seconds, add a smile. Add a smile for no reason. If, you have a, if you're right near a window, stare out the window, smile, gain eye contact with someone. And shot, see what happens. Maybe more effective than hinge, who knows. We go for two, one, three point shot. Grab the ball, boom. But you know, I'm gonna switch it up, right? I'm not an actual lefty, but today is the day. Make sure you flick that wrist, that's essential. Five seconds. Two, fast with it, grab, up, grab, up. And we're March. Okay, here we go. After this one, we get to take it into our punching bags. And here we go. Punching bags. Fast feet. Fast feet. We got it. You move the feet forward. You can move the feet back. You move the feet forward. Move the feet back. Tight stomach here, tight stomach. And here we are in marching place. Okay, we're gonna go into multi-directional punch outs here. This is the halfway point of the workout. Feel good about that, feel good. Here we go, feel good about Adjust the pace, check in. Once again, this is about being mindful here today, not just mindlessly moving, but being in tune with your breath, being in tune with the movements here. Once again, try to get creative with the hands. See if you can come up with something different. And done. Eight seconds. Some studies that show when your brain works doing exercises, you burn a little bit extra calories, burn a little bit more at brain work. We go heel curls here. One, two, let's go. One, two, past the halfway point now. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and done. Let's march. After this, we get to throw those punches again. Here in five, four, three, two, one. Throw those punches, let's go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Keep it coming. 
Go at your pace here. Which could be a little bit faster than mine, could be a little bit slower. But once again, check in on that breath. We march, 10 seconds. Okay, here we go. We're gonna go to the multi-directional punch house here in two, one. Let's get it, here we go. Jazz hands, up, boom. Here we go, what are we doing? Grab it from the top shelf, pass it to the kid, shelf, kid. Here you go, uh. Oh, what is that? It's a protein bar. You're not getting candy in this household. Here we go, two, one, and done. Now, I'm some joke. I would, I would. Here we go, we're going for a two, one. Ladder climbs, here we go. This is what happens when the kid gets a little bit older. Use that step ladder, climb those. I'm gonna get my candy. I'm gonna get those Oreos. We go for a 10 seconds here. Five, four, three, two, one, and let's march. Under the thigh claps coming up here. Remember, you can have fun with this one. Big clap, and let's go. If you have a hard time getting a leg up, you can clap the thigh. Do what feels right for you. 10 seconds. Four, three, two, one, and let's march. Let's march. We have that three point shot here again. Three point. It's end round four. Here we go, grabbing it. Quick with it. Steph Curry with the shot here. 10 seconds. Fast. If you get dizzy, focus your eyes straight ahead the entire time. Just rotate with that torso. Two, and done. Nice. 10 second march here. And we take it into a punching bag. I should give you a little fun fact on those, that three point shot I just did with you. Punching bags, here we go. There's been actual studies that shows when you, through visualization, you can improve just as much as practicing the actual skill. So there's been studies where they've had a, a group just visualize taking shots and making the shots. They've had groups that actually practiced, we're gonna go march again, that actually practiced shooting jump shots or free throws. Then they had a group that did nothing. The group that did nothing did not improve. The group that practiced their free throws improved. Also the group that just visualized practicing their free throws improved. We're gonna go heel curls. That's a nice little fun study that shows the power of visualization, which you can use. I mean, I guess if you're a basketball player, you could visualize it when you're shooting shots next time, but you can use it for your fitness goals. Here we go, we're marching. Right, if you want something to happen the next day, right, if you want, you know, there are gonna be donuts in the office, and you know Susie's gonna ask you, right? You can visualize telling Susie, no, not today, not today. Then when she says, why not? Visualize what your, your reply will be. It increases your chance. And done here, we're marching. We're going back into those multi-directional punch outs here in four, three, two, one. Here we go, punch. I'm gonna go behind the back, right? Once again, try to get as creative as you can. One hand that way, one hand that way. I feel like those old time dancers, everything's in black and white, just, and, and done, here we go. We're marching, we're marching. Okay, now from there, we get to take into our ladder climbs. Right arm, left leg, let's get it, we're climbing. Tight core, here we go. Getting stronger. Gaining greater endurance that will serve us through our day to day lives. So we have more energy for the things we love to do. We're marching. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Back to it. Grab the ball. For my hoopers out there, visualize you're making your shot. Ah. 
I just want to be really good at shooting paper balls and tr uh, trash cans, so that's why I'm visualizing. Right there. It's every time. Never miss ever again. Two, one, and done. We're marching. Here we go. Here we go. We, got, we have punching bags coming up. And here we go. Punch bags. Boom. Lying on the feet. Hands going in a circular motion here. Give me another four. Three, two, one. And nice. March, march, march. We're going under the thigh clap here. Then we only have one more round. Then we get to cool down. Here we go. We got it. We got it. Here we go. You have some fun here. You can move forward, move back. There are no rules here. No rules. I'm not grading you. If it's not painful, feel free to add a little bit of spice to it. No ice though. We go two, one, and done. We're marching. We're marching. Here we go. We're gonna enter that last round here. Big smile on your face. Big smile. This is my favorite part of the workout. One, two, here we go. Two, one, two, two, gripping. Imagine your goals are out in front of you. You're gripping those goals. Like, come to me, you know? I'm working hard for them. We're going for five, four, three, two, one, and done. Here we go. Margin. Margin. Four, three, two, one. Let's go. Throw these punches. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Here we go. Two, three, four. Going through this last circle with joy and pride, no matter where we are in our fitness journey. If we're a beginner, this workout, I'll argue, is one of the tougher workouts. I've had a couple conversations with people this week, actually, we're in a march, about when you get back into the fitness grind, and both people were talking about, oh, what I do is I usually go all out, then I'm super sore the next day, and then I'm super sore for the next few days, and then I miss time because I'm, I can barely move, right? Because we feel like we have to go all in, and, that's not the best way, that's not the most sustainable way. So showing up for a workout like this, where we're just moving our body, we're building the base that's gonna serve us longer in our future for our future goals, and giving us the ability to show up tomorrow, whether it's another workout like this, or a strength workout, or a yoga workout. And here we go, we're going to ladder climbs. This is an important part of being consistent. We can't always go all out. And hey, this workout is really challenging, right? You were like, man, this is a really challenging workout today. Find grace and gratitude in knowing that everyone has a point A, and this workout will get easier in the future, right? So make this a goal of how you wanna feel in a month or two after doing this workout. Now we go under the thigh claps here. We got it, we got it. High with those hands. Clap, clap. Here we go, four, three, two, one, and nice, march. We're going back to the basketball court, grabbing the ball, shooting it. We're going for three, two, one, grab it. Kobe, Curry, Jordan, Shaq. There we go, back at it. 10 seconds. Michael Scott from the office. Here we go. Two, one, and done. Classic TV show. Classic. Oh, man. I've seen every episode. Three, two, one. We go punch your backs here. Favorite office episode, easily. One of my favorite scenes from Office is when like Michael is like listening to the GPS. And he's just like, it drives into the lake with Dwight. And it's like, it's like obvious, don't drive there. He's just listening, he's like, does it. It's hilarious, oh, such a great show. We go here for another three, two, one. And we're in March here. March, big smile on our face. This is the last one we get to do. Then we're gonna take it into a cool down stretch here. In four, three, two, one. Clap it up, clap it up, clap it up. Grab some water here if you need it. Then once you're feeling good, we go into a calf stretch here. So, boom, one leg for it. 
And we're gonna shift forward, hold this, drive that heel to the ground. And I want you to inhale, exhale through the mouth, express gratitude for your body, for helping you get through this, allowing you to get through this workout today. Working out today because this enhances our life. We're not aiming to be less of anything. This allows us to do more, experience life with more joy. We're gonna switch sides here. Now, if you worked out with me before, you know I love to practice me some gratitude, right? Important part of wellness. Gratitude prompt for you today is, who's the funniest person you know? Right, you can't say me, by the way, you can't say me. Funniest person you know, leave it in the comments. And while you're at it, make sure you hit that bell so you stay up to date with all the great workouts we have coming for you. Workouts like this, strength workouts, yoga workouts, treadmill, step workouts, all of them, dumbbell. All quick and efficient here. And I will rise, boom, and that, is our workout for today's Sunny Fam. Once again, my name is Coach James. I want to express gratitude for you working out with me today. Hopefully we get to do this again soon. All right, before you go, virtual fist bump. <laughs> Boom, have a good one. If you've enjoyed this workout, I invite you to follow me on the Sunny Fit app. There, you'll find more classes from me. I teach dumbbell strength, kettlebell strength, body weight strength, treadmill cardio workouts, and audio workouts. Yes, you get to listen to my voice. Plus, many more from all the Sunny trainers. If you haven't downloaded the Sunny Fit app yet, click the link in the description below. Let's get it.